Joe Scarborough is an American television host, attorney, political commentator, and former politician who is the co-host of Morning Joe on MSNBC with his wife Mika Brzezinski and Willie Geist. He previously hosted Scarborough Country on the same network. Born April 9, 1963, age 61 years, Atlanta, Georgia, United States. Spouse, Mika Brzezinski, M. 2018, Susan Warren, M. 2001-2013, Melanie Hinton, M. 1986-1999. Children, Jack Scarborough, Catherine Clark Scarborough, Andrew Scarborough, Joey Scarborough. Education, University of Florida 11 College of Law, 1990, Moore. Height, 1.93 meters. Nominations, News and Documentary Emmy Award for Outstanding News Discussion and Analysis. Joe Scarborough Net Worth $80 Million. Early Life and Education. Scarborough was born in Atlanta, Georgia in 1963, the son of Mary Joanna, Nay Clark, and George Francis Scarborough, a businessman. He has two siblings. In 1969, his family moved to Meridian, Mississippi, in 1973 to Elmira, New York, and in 1978 to Pensacola, Florida. Scarborough attended Pensacola Catholic High School in Pensacola. He earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in History from the University of Alabama in 1985 and a Juris Doctor from the University of Florida College of Law in 1990. During this time, he wrote music and produced CDs with his band, Dixon Mills, including the album Calling on Robert E. Lee, and he also coached football and taught high school. During his first year of law school, Scarborough wrote a musical about televangelists called The Gospel According to Esther which premiered at the University of Alabama to positive reviews. Later, the musical was showcased at the Alabama Shakespeare Festival. Legal Career Scarborough was admitted to the Florida Bar in 1991 and practiced law in Pensacola. Scarborough's most high-profile case was briefly representing Michael F. Griffin, who murdered Dr. David Gunn in 1993. Griffin's father was a friend of Scarborough's in-laws, and Joe agreed to represent Griffin until the murder suspect found adequate representation. Before removing himself from the case, Scarborough made several court appearances representing Griffin, later saying, there was no way in hell I could sit in at a civil trial, let alone a capital trial, referring to the prospect of prosecutors seeking the death penalty against Griffin. Scarborough assisted Griffin in choosing other counsel from the many who offered their services, however, and helped shield the family from the media exposure, pro bono. Scarborough's political profile was also raised when he assisted with a petition drive in late 1993 leading a tax revolt that defeated a proposed 65% increase in Pensacola's property taxes. Personal Life Scarborough has been married three times. In 1986, Scarborough married Melanie Hinton. The couple had two sons and divorced in 1999. While interviewing Robert F. Kennedy Jr. in June 2005, Scarborough expressed concerns about the possibility that one of his sons may have suffered vaccine damage, see thimerosal controversy. Scarborough said, My son, born in 1991, has a slight form of autism, called Asperger's. When I was practicing law and also when I was in Congress, parents would constantly come to me, and they would bring me videotapes of their children, and they were all around the age of my son or younger. So, something happened in 1989. In October 2001, Scarborough married his second wife, Susan Warren, a former aide to Florida Governor Jeb Bush and a former Congressional Committee staffer. Their daughter was born in August 2003, their son was born in May 2008. Scarborough and Warren were divorced in January 2013. As of 2016, Scarborough has residences in both New Canaan, Connecticut, an affluent exurb of New York City, and Jupiter, Florida. In early 2017, during a trip to Antibes, France, Scarborough became engaged to his co-host Mika Brzezinski. The couple married on November 24, 2018, in Washington, D.C., in a ceremony officiated by U.S. Representative Elijah Cummings. Scarborough is not related to WNBC-TV anchor Charles Bishop Chuck Scarborough III.